Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about four systems across the Atlantic. We have yet another disturbance. We have what became subtropical storm Teresa, Hurricane Sam, which is almost a major hurricane as well as that, that highlighted area where we could have development taking place in the coming week. And so before I go into details, So let us kickstart things with Teresa. So looking at the satellite imagery of the subtropical storm, we're seeing here that much isn't really there of it. We just have that small area showing thunderstorm activity to the north of the center, and the system is actually dissipating as conditions are getting more and more hostile that are going to prevent any intensification that could happen. So it is a weakening cyclone. Winds are 40 miles per hour, and it is accelerating to the west-northwest. So it is expected to be done to a depression by later today and by early tomorrow morning it is expected to dissipate and become a remnant slow so it is a short-lived system out there and not a threat to land and so let's move on to the disturbance that is located to the south southeast of Teresa and so we're seeing here that there is a 20% chance that we could have development taking place and the chance during the next 48 hours is at 10% so this disturbance is associated with the remnants of Peter and so if we do have it developing then it will acquire the name Peter again so it would be a regeneration of this similar to what was expected of Odette but that disturbance failed so as of right now it is going to be making its way out to the northeast and not going to be a threat to land during the next couple of days thankfully and so now let's go on to that other disturbance so we have that highlighted area just off the coast of africa and we see that there is a 50 percent chance that we could have potential development taking place so a wave is expected to emerge off the coast and once it moves into that shaded region then conditions are expected to be conducive to enable some development to take place off this and so once we have it uh moving off the coast of africa and this chance increasing it'll automatically be designated as an invest and would be invest 90L. Alright, so let us go ahead and take a look at Hurricane Sam. So looking at the satellite view of the hurricane, we're seeing here that it is getting in shape. We have that eye and it is getting very very symmetrical right now so it is an intensifying tropical cyclone it is almost a major hurricane and it is expected to become a catastrophic cat 4 hurricane out there and so let's go on to the cone forecast from the national hurricane center and so we're seeing here that sam has sustained winds of 110 miles per hour by the next advisory we should have a major hurricane and it is accelerating to the west northwest at 13 miles per hour so we're seeing here that during most of this week uh, at the end of that cone forecast it is expected to be a major hurricane right throughout that time so intensification is going to be taking place uh, as we head into even the midweek but there is going to be a pause or a halt rather once it is going to be accelerated more to the north because conditions are expected to start getting unfavorable maybe some unfavorable shear setting in so after a while of course we will have this eventually weaken and dissipate so is this going to be a threat to the lesser Antilles so if we have Sam becoming a very large hurricane then the outer bands of the system could affect portions of the lesser Antilles such as the Leeward Islands so there is still uncertainty in the cone because whenever you see the cone get in uh, wider especially after that three-day range the center can pass anywhere within that zone so that is the reason for the widening of the cone because it is actually called the cone of uncertainty because anything can change with this as time goes by so still heads up if you're in the leeward islands but direct impacts are not really anticipated as of right now but we do have the euro model still showing something that is a little interesting Interesting. So first, before I go to that, let's go on to the uh, Tropical Storm Force Wind Speed Probabilities map. And so we're seeing here that uh, we have some of the lesser entities being in that. Some of the islands are especially in that 10% chance of experiencing Tropical Storm Force Winds. And that is relatively low. But if it is that we head toward the orange shade to that red, then the possibility is going to be higher. But things should not get too bad with Sam as this is going to be making its way by. 
during the next couple of days. And so in terms of the wind shear, when looking at favorability, the different colors, they indicate the favorability of the shear. We have the green that means favorable shear. That is the environment that induces intensification. We have the yellow that means neutral shear. That shear won't be really impactful. But as we head toward the red color that you're seeing, that indicates unfavorable shear, which is what rips up or tropical cyclones and prevents intensification. So ahead of SAM, there is a lot of favorable shear. So this is the reason it has that big window of opportunity to strengthen into a category 4 hurricane and the maximum sustained winds could be over 140 miles per hour which would make it one of the strongest storms of the season and so now let's go ahead and take a look at what the gfs and the euro models are predicting for this cyclone First up is the GFS and so this is a map showing the isobars and the isobars are lines of equal pressure and when you see them being closer in a circular manner with the pressure being below 1013 millibars that is a low pressure system and it can be or tropical cyclones and when you see the isobars becoming very tightly packed that indicates a stronger system because that is showing that the gradient is very steep. And so this is by Thursday the 30th of the month, so the last day of the month, and we're seeing here that GFS is showing that SAM is going to be making its way north of the Lesser Antilles, but we see that some of that, uh, the other parts of the system could affect portions of the Leeward Islands. But take a look down to the southeast of SAM. We have a 986 millibar system. This is most likely the disturbance that is yet to emerge off the coast of Africa. And if we have development of this, it will become Victor. So let's go further out and we see that by Sunday, the 3rd of October, we don't have much become off of that uh, system there we see that the pressure has increased 1005 millibars and whenever there's an increase in pressure that means that the system is weakening and in terms of SAM we're seeing that it has made its way uh, affecting the northeastern portion of North America. Let's take a look at what you're expecting for SAM and that's a disturbance. So this is Thursday the end of the month and it is showing that SAM is going to be closer to the Leeward Islands than what GFS is showing and then to the south of the Cabo Verde Islands it is showing that that disturbance expected to emerge off Africa is going to be getting in shape and so as we head to Friday the first of the month it is showing that SAM is going to be making its way north of the Leeward Islands while we're going to be having that disturbance to, now to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands intensifying. And so guys, there are a lot of possibilities that are on the table for both of these systems and to more of an extent what is going to be taking place in October. I certainly think we will have more storms to come, especially uh, in October, November, and we can even see them uh, developing in the South Caribbean because that is usually uh, the development region at the time of year, especially in November. So we really have to wait and see what is going to be happening during the next couple of days to weeks and hopefully things don't get too bad but of course i'll keep you updated as time goes by and so that is it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be with the wise